Joining us now is uh, Jurne Godic uh, from Slovenia, Cal Senior. Uh, had a great career here in California. You've already been in the Olympic Games in 2004, so this is your second opportunity. Is there a difference between the first time and the second time for you as far as qualifying? Um, definitely. The first time was uh, I went only with the relay, yeah. so that was my only purpose of being there. So I did get to experience, um, you know, the whole Olympic Games, um, but right now I guess there's more pressure, a little more expectations for me since I'm doing 50 freestyle individually and actually qualified individually as opposed to as a, just a member of a relay. What was it like for you uh, sharing the opening ceremonies uh, experience? I mean, that's one of the highlights of the Olympic Games. What was it like for you? Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it to the, to the fullest. Just, um, you know, opening ceremony is great. And um, what I like the most, I think, is just living in the Olympic Village mm -hmm. and interacting with athletes from all over the wo world and, you know, just on the streets of Olympic Village or in the cafeteria where everyone <laughs> eats together. So um, it's great just being there. Yeah. What are your thoughts about going to China? I think it's going to be great uh, because in Athens, everything was kind of still being constructed. Mm -hmm. They were running late with the infrastructure. And what I read about China is that they, they're ahead of everything. And the pool, the facilities, you know, Olympic Village, everything is, is in tip top shape and just ready for the Olympics. So I think it's going to be wonderful. You've had a, a wonderful opportunity uh, to experience a lot on the international scene. Uh, how has that helped you, uh, you know, grow and develop? Um, I think it definitely helps to you know, have international meets like um, world championships, European championships, all those, uh, all those things um, to get an idea to um, compete with the athletes from all, all over the world, you know, their best athletes. And, you know, it gets some of that um, stage fright, I guess, you know, so you're not as nervous at the blocks as you would be perhaps otherwise if it was very new to you. Um, you know, it helps that I experienced that on a, you know, somewhat smaller scale, but it's still very important and, you know, significant enough that you have that kind of fright on the block that I went through that and I overcame it and now I'm much more relaxed and confident in swimming against those guys. How has your experience to California uh, let you grow, not only athletically, but also from a personal standpoint? Um, well, just my whole decision of coming to U.S. to study it was because I wanted to combine both uh, athletics and academics, and uh, it would be much more difficult to do that at home in Slovenia. Um, so, you know, my experience so far has been great. Um, you know, the training facilities here and the coaching staff is, you know, prime. Mm -hmm. And the school, you know, everyone knows that it's, it's, a, it's a great school, and I'm getting a lot out of it. I want to I want to look at this because I want to make sure I get your major correct here. You're, you've been studying immunology and molecular and cell biology. You've also received a Pac-10 postgraduate uh, scholarship as well. Tell us about what that major is all about and why you like it. Um, I find it very fascinating. Just the it's a study of immune system um, predominantly, and um, everything is more on a biochemical molecular level. And I definitely want to proceed that in my um, in a graduate school towards a PhD, and that's what I was awarded a Pac-10 postgraduate postgraduate scholarship um, to um, to help me get there and complete it. And what then? What would you like to do after you complete all of your studies? Mm, that's still a little far, but where I see myself, it's either um, stay in academia as a professor researcher or going to biotechnology. Tell us about swimming in Slovenia. We don't know a whole lot about it. What's it like? Um, it's actually not as bad as some people think. <laughs> we have some pretty, um, pretty good swimmers um, who have, you know, won medals at world championships recently and European championships, things like that. But it's not nearly as developed as it, as it is here, mm -hmm. uh, which is the reason we don't have Olympic trials like um, they do in the U.S. We only need to swim a certain time standard because there's not you know, more than one person with the A standard as opposed to here when they actually have to decide who out of the people with the ta time standard is going to swim. Uh, so in that case, it's, it is somewhat easier to um, qualify and to get to these um, competitions. But, um, 
you know, my experiences until um, I came here, you know, they've been great and I accomplished a lot with my coaches back home and facilities. But, um, you know, after coming here, I see that this is, you know, a, a notch higher uh, in terms of everything. Yeah. How would you compare? I mean, obviously the Olympics are the best of the best, but you've gone through Pac 10s, which is obviously a high quality meet, and NCAAs, which might be the second best meet in the world this year. How do those experiences get you ready for you know, competing at the Olympic Games? Um, it's very, it's very different um, because you have you go there with a team, and you know there's only a certain amount of teams, especially at Pac-10s. You know, we had six teams, and the atmosphere is completely different than anything else. You know, because you have so many people cheering for you, and other teams cheering for their swimmers, <laughs> and you don't get that kind of extent of cheering at the Olympics. You have crowds, but you only hear noise. You know, okay. you don't hear your name on the blocks. You really? You don't even hear your name? No, because there's so many so many random screaming and yelling. Everyone's like, go, go, you know, and each person is cheering for someone else. So you only hear noise there. You know, it's, it's way different. And um, also the pace of competitions, you know, at Pac-10 and NCAA, you have maybe five, six, you know, up to ten races in the course of three days, as opposed to Olympics, I'm only doing 50 freestyle, hopefully hopefully three times, you know, if I make its qualifications, um, um, semifinals and finals. So, but that would be most I'm doing there. Well, congratulations, Jeremy, for uh, being a two-time Olympian. Enjoy your experience in China, and uh, certainly all of us here at Cal wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right. Jeremy uh, Godek uh, representing Slovenia at the Olympic Games in the 50 free.